Hello, this is Wolfie and welcome back to another video. And today I will be teaching you how to build one of these cobble generators. Now, this is probably the most effective generator on this server that I know of, so I would recommend building one. And I will also, just before I build it, recommend getting to island level 10 and expanding your island at least once. Alright, so this gener generator is completely scalable so you make it as big or as small as you want so the first step is to put a row of anything down here just make sure it's something you can mine with can't mine with a pickaxe because if you can mine it you will accidentally break it when you're trying to grind all right second is put a row down here this bit here is to make sure the water will stay in the correct spots and i knew it fell off there that wouldn't have been good Right now you build a wall here, this will stop the water from flowing backwards out of our generator. This here can go as high as you want, I would recommend building as high as I am here, just so that you can just mine up and don't have to worry about not mining anything right near the top of the thing, because this is far further than you can actually reach. So you build this wall up here doesn't like too long, it has a bit of annoying work. And just remember if you want to buy anything easy, you can either use slash, slash shop or you can use slash buy. Now if you can't afford it, I would recommend using bedrock to make these generators as you can't actually mine it, which I've done multiple times. Alright, so we're nearly at the end of this row, just one more to go, and we're there, oh. and now we're there. Alright, so next thing you want to do is to mine and place blocks just up this row, just, since this is the end we'll put it there, and on this one here as well. And we can also put it up here. And you also you want to, and for this design you want to put a wall down the back here as well, which will stop the lava flowing out. And I will quickly go get my phone charger. I'll be back. All right, I'm back now and we can continue working. So, uh, well, yeah, I was absolutely putting a row down here. And this, as I said, this row here will stop the lava from flowing out. I do have more wood before I run out. If you want to make a bigger design, like with with two mines, then what you want to do is not put this wall and put that side on that copy that side over this side with a line of symmetry down the lava. But for now I will not do that, I'll just make a basic one. And so you can make this as long as you want. And obviously the longer you make it, the more resources it will take to make, but also the more effective it will be. Alright, so quickly my ideas away now. So now that we're nearly done this row, um, like we did on the other side over there, you want to block these bits here off. And I've nearly run out of wood, so I'm going to be buying more. And Alright, server's being a bit laggy right now, I think. One, two, alright. So, if you want to buy anything, remember you can use the slash buy. In blocks is where you get the blocks. If you want to get um, lava and water, they're in here. The top two. So you blocks, I just want some wood, oak wood, see these, this will give you logs so I'll just get 128, yep, uh, no, and that, that will be enough for a while at least, I'll craft some planks out there now, I'll just craft them all, it takes a while to do this, it's the same problem. 
all right plan to continue building even if you don't use them in what you're building you will use them eventually pretty much resources <laughs> see yeah um now that we've built this it's up to you whether you want to put anything down here i don't unless i use bedrock because we mine that really easily all right now you want to get yourself some trap doors i have four seen already that should be enough you can use a crafting table to get those ones all right so you just want to place them on the top half so they fold up and don't need one there so i'm main that so this will stop the water from flowing down where you need to run back from falls because in this mine you run back and forth like this mining all right now you'll want to put the water down and the water goes up there not up there on the very top so i need to quickly go up there you can put a ladder up this side over mine too but i'm not worrying about it because that's a lot of effort all right so this in my here see is quite large and now you come over here, what you'll want to do is build yourself a um, water pool here which will give you an infinite, infinite amount of water. Um, that's not how you build them. So don't copy this design. You might need to make it one longer. And now I've got... I, I'm trying to change blocks there but it won't let me. Oh, now I need to fix this up real quick. It's really easy. Just made and place some lava down. Right now that's fixed. So what we want to do is put your water in here on both sides, which create a water source block in the middle now. So we will need about ten water. So I'll break my generator and what infinite water source. So make sure I just get water from the middle. You can spam the middle but make sure you don't get it from the sides. Alright that should be enough. If I don't go missing. Um fill my hot bar up here. Then that's nine. That's plenty I think. So place them along the top here on every square and um, block. And there we go. I'll just throw that away. So now I've got just keep two water buckets always in case you want to use them um water later so you don't be buying more if you keep two. So now we will we can um get rid of this water, we don't need it anymore. Just um, have, having an efe efficiency 10 axe is probably not best for doing things like this. It gets very hard to use sometimes. Yeah, because stuff like this will happen. I don't know why that's there. Anyway, so now we will want to place the lava, and as I said, lava will go down this side. So, what we want to do. You will need base, so you just run them backwards and place lava down here. Now that you run out of lava, so now's a good chance to buy some more. Show you how you buy that. And it's in furniture, still lava. You can buy as much as you want. Don't go too over the top. You probably don't need a hundred chimney like for this small, um, this small design. But I will use it later. See, something's broken and it's not really run down. I, I don't think the water's working there properly. Anyway, plus lower down anyway. Alright, will it work? There we go. So now you just want to run along on the box which you just created. If it's not placing, you just float down in the water stream. Um, don't do that. There we go. That should be all fixed now. Well, yep, it is. All right. So once you've finished placing the lava, it is finished, and hopefully working.
Alright, so now the alarm is placed, we can test if it works. Yep, all placed down here. And this corner is annoying me a bit, wonder if I can fix it. Oops. And I'm not going to fix it, doesn't make any difference. Sorry, so what I'm going to do is look straight up to use this, hold it big and just hold mine down and walk backwards and forwards. And put the trapdoor down so I don't walk out the end. Yes, like I said, put the trap doors down. Anyway, so now that we've finished that, that's finished. You can make it as guided as you want. You can make it as big as this one over here. However, if you're a new player, you probably don't need one this big. This is probably all you would need. You can expand it too, by sort of connecting these two. That's a bit more difficult, but once you sort of look around and see how they work, it's quite easy. Alright, so, that will now have to be the end of the video, so I'll see you all later. Goodbye!